Hello, my name is Sean Copeland and I'm Chairman and CEO of Regent Bank and we're going to continue our series on the business life cycle today here on Regent Elevate. What we want to talk about today is we're going to continue our discussion on premature aging of organizations. A younger organization is vibrant, creative, um, always coming up with new ideas, being very innovative. Uh, an organization that matures prematurely becomes old in their thinking. It has no. It has nothing to do with how old the people are. They just become less creative, much more stagnant. All of a sudden, they become more protective in nature as opposed to uh, offensive uh, and going after uh, new ideas and new markets. So today, what we're going to talk about is there are actually four aging factors that will help you to predict where on this life cycle your business set. So let's jump into those. The four factors are P, which stands for production, administration, entrepreneurship, and integration. So let's talk about each of those individually today. Production talks about our ability to grow the business and wow the customer. This might be measured by our growth and repeat unit sales with existing customers. It might be uh, retention, uh, high, high retention rates of, of our clients. Um, our loss of core accounts, our addition of core accounts. It's just our ability to grow the core business. When we have a high production, then that is the sign of a younger, more vibrant organization. Administration deals with the infrastructure and really the root system of the organization. So if you think about a tree, a strong tree has as much root as it does a top. And so within an organization where um, you're growing very rapidly and you don't have a strong root system, everything looks great on the outside, but a big wind comes along and pushes it over uh, very easily. Same thing with an organization. You need a well-developed administrative function to make sure that things run and you have good, strong systems. So here's what that looks like. Consistency and quality, uh, timeliness, budgets, schedule, uh, increase in gross margin and net margin for sales. It might look like uh, uh, products, clients, offices, and, and business units, increase in margin for all of those, uh, decline in costs as a percentage of overall revenue. So the organization is just becoming stronger and more efficient over time. Now this administrative function is, is very, very important, clearly. You want to have a good foundation for your business, but when it takes over and all of a sudden the other three become less, we're going to learn over the next few weeks that that leads to moving into aging and ultimately death. So you want to definitely balance uh, those two. The third aging factor is E for the entrepreneurial engine. So what this really means is how creative are we? How innovative are we? How often do we reinvent ourselves or do, are we just content to sit back and rest on our laurels because we're the best? We don't need to do anything uh, to stay ahead. This is a big one, and it might be measured by client adoption of new products and services. It might be uh, revenues from new products, services, or business units. Uh, you know, it's basically just you're looking for proof that the organization can innovate, can create, and can commercialize uh, new technologies and new inventions. The final aging factor is I, which is integration. And this is basically the culture piece. So workforce integration and culture. How well do your employees understand the why behind your organization? Or are they just showing up every day to get a paycheck? So this might be measured by retention of key personnel. It might be uh, low, undesirable turnover. We all know some turnover is good, but make, minimizing our undesirable turnover. Uh, addition of new strategic hires. Um, uh, stories about those who live, eat, and breathe the culture. Uh, we all know what this looks like. We've all been at organizations where people are totally passionate about what you do. You see this at, at Google. You see this at Zappos. You see this at Apple. You see this at Southwest Airlines. 
I'd like to think that you see this at Regent Bank, where people are really passionate about our core business of serving small businesses. So these are the four aging factors. And what you want to do is basically, we're going to talk about how these need to be balanced. But you want to, you want a, a very creative, vibrant organization that is always stretching, always reaching, and never settles. Uh, so we'll talk about this more next week. Thank you so much for joining us today on Region Elevate.